To begin, loosen the bottom knob. Adjust the width of the tripod to fit the area you have available by pulling up or pushing down the pole above the bottom knob and below the top knob. This can slightly affect the height of your tripod. Once you're happy with the base of the tripod, tighten the bottom knob to ensure it stays that way. A wider stance is recommended to help stabilize the tripod once the lights are attached. Once the bottom of your tripod is set, you can adjust the top pole to the height of your liking. Once you've found your optimal height, put the pin through the hole so that the smaller pole won't slide into the larger pole below. Also tighten the knob to ensure stability. Use the bolts and wingtip screws to attach the bracket on each light to the T-bar. Be sure to attach both lights before attaching the T-bar to the tripod so that it remains balanced. You can attach the lights either hanging below or resting above the T-bar, whichever is your preference. Be sure to tighten the wingtip screws as tightly as possible. Slide the T-bar onto the top of the tripod and then use the knob to tighten it. Make sure it's secure before letting go. The brackets on the lights can be adjusted and tightened with the knobs on the sides of the lights as seen here. Once you find your desired angle, be sure to tighten them. Both lights will have their own cords as well as their own input and output. The most effective way to power the lights is to connect one light to the other light, then connect that other light to a power source. Once both lights are connected and then they're connected to a power source, the lights will illuminate. For best results, there should be no natural light or any other ambient light to interfere with the black lights. They are to be used inside only.